We're going to hear the story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. This book is written by Monroe Leaf and illustrated by Robert Lawson. We have a special treat since it's music class. We're also going to hear it music. Someone named Alan Ridout created violin music to express each character. So listen to the sound of the violin. You can pretend to play it when you hear it. You can also pretend to be the characters. So I'm going to show you pictures of the characters and then things you could do for them. So for instance, when you hear Ferdinand's song, you can just a nice breath and feel peaceful because Ferdinand was very peaceful. And by the way, if you're thinking this reminds me of an animated movie, you're right. The movie Ferdinand is based off of this story. Okay, so when you hear ah, Ferdinand's music, you're going to Mm, take a nice breath and feel peaceful. He loved flowers. When you hear music for his mother, who was always worried about him, you can go. The, the violin sounds like a, a worried moo. And you can silently pretend to moo while looking worried. If you hear the sound of the men in the funny hats, let's see if I can find that picture. They thought they knew everything about everything. And they were very proper men who thought they knew everything about everything. If you're the men in the funny hats, you can be like nodding, tipping your hat. Yes, I know everything about everything. If you hear the sound for a bumblebee, you can, bumblebee, you can pretend to buzz with your fingers. And whenever you hear the other bulls running and butting their heads together and leaping and being angry and fighting because that's what bulls are supposed to do. You can put up little bull horns and pretend to do that as well. So let's get started with listening to this story, the story of Ferdinand. This is the story of Ferdinand the bull. Each character in this tale is represented by a different theme or motif played on the violin. Here is Ferdinand's tune. Ferdinand's mother, who is a cow. The five men in funny hats. And finally, the bumblebee. And now that you know all the themes, make yourself comfortable and we will begin the classic story of Ferdinand the Bull. Thank you. 
Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. The other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot in the pasture under a cork tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head? She would say. Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. And because his mother was understanding, even though she was a cow, she let him sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. like to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. <laughs> The other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very, very strong and fierce and would pick them. <laughs> Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. 
So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you, Can you make a prediction, what do you think is going to happen? I'll stop a second and let you think. And now maybe even if you're at school, say it out loud. If you're at home, say it out loud. What do you think is going to happen next? Okay, well, let's find out. If you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? Wow, did it hurt! Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were mad. <laughs> The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderos. With long, sharp pins with ribbons Next on them. Next came the picadores. Who rode skinny horses. And they had long spears to stick in the bowl and make him mad. Next came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand went to the middle of the bull ring. And everyone thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he saw the flowers in all the lovely ladies' hair, he just sat down and smelled. He wouldn't fight no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. Hmm. And the bandieros were angry. And the picadores were angry. And the matador was so angry because he couldn't show off. He cried. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And he is.
is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope you didn't get too nervous. When I first read it, I got so nervous. What's going to happen to Ferdinand? They're going to be so mean to him. So I was very happy that he continued to be who he was, peaceful and sweet and enjoyed flowers. So he remembered who he was and didn't try and change. And I was so grateful that they were just gave up and didn't hurt him and took him home. I hope you enjoyed the story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf, illustrated by Robert Lawson, music written by, I forget his name, Alan Ridout. <laughs>